Okay, so you need to listen to this and you need to take it very, very seriously. Throughout scripture, God gives us warnings. He gives us signs of how we know that the great and terrible day of the Lord is near. And when you read Second Peter 3, there's a warning not to be ignorant that the day of the Lord comes as a thief in the night and that a day with the Lord is as a thousand years and a thousand years is as one day. So he's referencing, um, or should I say he's connecting scripture with Hosea 6 verse 2 that tells us that the Messiah will tarry for two days and then the third day he will revive us. So what that means when you put those two scriptures together, and I think it's in Psalm 90 that it reaffirms this as well, is that the Messiah will return 2,000 years after he was crucified. Now, here we are in 2024, and remember, you've got to have 3.5 years of tribulation before the Messiah sits on his throne. So it doesn't matter which way you cut it, the great and terrible day of the Lord is at the doors. It is right around the corner. And the whole church is ignorant of this mystery, even though Peter warned them not to be. And that's because they despise prophecy. And the reason why they despise prophecy is because they're completely disobedient and wicked in their hearts and completely unwilling to obey God. And because of that, they don't have the spirit of truth, so they can't understand the Bible. It's simple as that. Okay, but one of the warnings that we see throughout scripture about knowing that the great and terrible day of the Lord is close is when uh, Jerusalem will be at war. Okay, now I know that that part of the world has been at war pretty much for its entire existence. But there's one specific scripture that I'm going to read right now. And you need to listen to it very closely. Okay, so it's Zephaniah 2. I'm going to go from verse 1. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation not desired. Before the decree bring forth and before the day pass as the chaff, before the fierce anger of Jehovah is come upon you and before the day of Jehovah's anger is come upon you. Seek ye Jehovah, all ye meek of the earth. Meekness is wisdom. Blessed are the meek for they shall inherit the earth. Which have wrought his judgment. Okay, so the meek, the Beatitudes is written to Jacob. Jacob the servant, who is going to be executing the righteous judgment of God as he commanded us to do. Love your neighbor as yourself. Fulfill the royal law. Leviticus 19, 15 through to 18, James chapter 2, verse 8. Okay, so the meek, the wise, are going to be executing righteous judgment in the world. So that's one sign of how you know that we're close to the end days because Jacob is rising up. The servants are rising up. The call to the watchman has gone out. Many have been called, only few are, cho are choosing to enter into the work. Many, many evil servants are rising up as well, you know, fighting against the true servants. Seek righteousness, seek meekness, and it may be you shall be hid in the day of Jehovah's anger. The wrath of God is not appointed unto Jacob. It's the time of Jacob's trouble, but he will be saved out of it. For Gaza shall be forsaken and Ashkelon a desolation. They shall drive out Ashdod as the noonday, and Ekron shall be rooted up. You hear that? Gaza shall be forsaken. Now I just, the reason I'm even making this video, the reason it was put on my heart to make, was I just read a little article that was saying that um, it's going to, apparently they reckon that if they were to rebuild Gaza at this point, it would take them 350 years. 88% of the buildings are destroyed. You know, completely annihilated. Gaza will not be rebuilt to be forsaken again. Gaza has been forsaken. That prophecy has been fulfilled. And what did the chapter start off with? Know that the day of the Lord is near. Even at the doors. The meek of the earth are executing the righteous judgment of God in the world. Gaza has been destroyed. I'm telling you right now, the day of the Lord is close. And the only way, as that scripture has just told us, 
that you will be saved out of it. The only way that you will not face the wrath of God is if you are seeking his righteousness and executing righteous judgment in the earth, keeping the holy covenants of promise and fulfilling the royal law. If you've heard this video, if you've seen this video, you're not, you're, you're, you are no longer ignorant. You can't play innocency. Because God is using this video to warn you to repent and start obeying him and do as he has commanded you to do. And if you don't listen to it, well then, you're going to go into great tribulation. He's only going to show mercy to those who never heard the truth. To the woman who goes into the wilderness, the Ezekiel 34 lost sheep who wandered through all the mountains and hills looking for a green pasture, but they never found it because there was no shepherd to go and find them because of the Ezekiel 34 wicked shepherds who wouldn't bother their ass to go and find them. They wouldn't bother their ass to execute righteous judgment. Righteous judgment is love. That's what true biblical love is. It's to rebuke the sin out of your neighbor so that they don't suffer the consequences of sin. Jacob is going to be doing that. Jacob will not go to the left. Jacob will not go to the right. And we're seeing plenty of people going to the right. Plenty of people going to the right. Desiring to be teachers of the law, but having zero understanding. Knowing not what they affirm. It's all written. So I'm telling you right now. Jacob has uh, risen. Or Jacob is rising, should I say. And is uh, executing righteous judgment in the in the earth. Gaza has been forsaken. Gaza is a desolation. And we know that when these things happen, the great and terrible day of the Lord is close. So you best take heed.